Hi, I'd like to show you how you can create this uh, very intricate uh, dodecahedron. Uh, each face of the dodecahedron is latticed, like so, and, and the design is similar to what you would uh, find in uh, Islamic architecture. And uh, I'll show you how it's done. I'm, let me go back, Control Z, to see the steps. hope you saw what happened. Uh, I'll show you step by step how you do it. Uh, start with camera view top angle. Draw a pentagon. I'm going to make my pentagon uh, 10 millimeters in radius. Uh, now let's zoom in on it. Select your pentagon. Use uh, offset tool. Try it again. Maybe two millimeters. I'm going to delete the middle. Select this and turn it into a component. Move your component so that one of the vertices is on the origin. Zoom out, zoom out a little bit use the rotation tool, use the origin as the center of rotation, press control to duplicate, 360 degrees, enter, slash 5, that means I want 5 copies, I have to delete the last one, which went on the first one, press delete, so this is going to be my um, pentagon, you see there's 5 sides, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm going to go inside one of these components and move this up let's say three millimeters now at this point you can color it any color you want so let's say I use um, I don't know blue maybe this kind of blue color everything blue and then on one side maybe I use a different color so maybe on the top I use uh, I don't know what goes with that color um, let's say this color okay now we can do each facet a different color if you like to see the effect now what I have is five solid components now I'm going to turn that into a uh, an outer shell now what I have is one solid group now. At this point, I want to um, go to camera view ISO. Now, okay. Let's try one more time. I need the green protractor. I'm going to find the middle of this side, the midpoint. I click that as my first point. That's the pivot point. And the other side, press control. And type in 116.57. That's a dihedral angle. At this point, I'm, I need the blue protractor, which is fine. I need to find the intersection here. So here we are. Grab my shape, press control. Now I'm going to do 360, enter, slash, Five, enter delete the last one that's a duplicate that goes on the first so uh, you can see this is half of my dodecahedron I'm going to zoom out a little bit select everything turn it into a component so I don't mess it up I'm going to copy this control C or edit copy and paste it in place 
and I'm going to flip this on the blue axis. Perfect. Now I'm going to move this up. Okay, let's see. I'm going to move that. You have to move it up along the blue axis. Okay, until you. That's it. This blue axis there. Make sure that trail is blue. You can see they're all touching there. But at this point, I'm going to move this down a tiny bit. So I'm going to move that and bring it here. I can see they are all uh, well connected. Now one thing I need to do is fix the bottom now. So I'm going to move this component up. So I'm going I need to zoom in. It's hard to do it with if you're not zooming in. So move that just like that. Done. So let's click out. So this is uh, this is basically a, this is a 3D printable. Uh, obviously, you need some supports uh, to overcome the overhangs. But you see, it's very beautiful, and this is the type of uh, lattice uh, work you see in uh, Islamic architecture. Um, you can use this for maybe a candle holder, uh, an LED candle holder, and it would cast a nice shadow. Now, what you have is right now is twelve uh, components. Uh, sorry, two two components. Uh, uh, I'm going to actually explode that. Now I should have twelve solid groups. Now you can bring this in uh, another program. Uh, like uh, it's called uh, 3D uh, Builder and it, it will uh, correct the mistakes for you uh, because there's overlap okay uh, and there are other programs uh, materialize is another one that uh, corrects uh, uh, 3D printing errors uh, for you but you can see it's very aesthetically pleasing And it looks uh, just like a dodecahedron, but uh, each face is replaced with uh, this uh, lattice work. Thanks for watching.